So I fucked up. Why do all my videos start with me laying under my truck complaining? So check this out. After going on the beach the other day, I'd parked the truck and pulling out of my driveway, trying to go to the beach today. And uh, the truck wouldn't move. It was like the, uh, the brakes were locked. So I put it into low for torque and goosed it. And then I heard a pop and then I lost brake pressure. So I think I blew the wheel cylinder up. So where's all the fluid going? What broke? Did I just blow out a line? I thought it was a wheel cylinder. It is clearly not a wheel cylinder. So that's both good and bad. It's definitely brake fluid. Where the fuck is it coming from? I guess I blew that line out. We're gonna have to take a look at that. Interesting. Let's find out together, shall we? Is that supposed to be connected to something? Asking for a friend. Uh, so yeah, I twisted this a little bit and it just kind of cracked right off. So I guess we need a line. I'm glad to see that we don't need a wheel cylinder. Although that probably would have been easier than this because the brake line is discontinued from Toyota. So I have to go get a universal stretch of line and bend it to fit now. And it's probably metric and friggin' advanced, probably only has standard. So another adventure, I guess. Let's, uh, let's get this line out so I can measure it at least and then we'll go from there, I guess. Here it is. Let's try and get a new one now. Found a piece of line. We're gonna bend it into place because this particular line is discontinued through Toyota. So we gotta make our own. Uh, I got 3 16 because it looks pretty close. I hope it's right. Uh, my assumption is that it's metric, but I guess we're gonna find out real quick <laughs> if this is right or not. So I can't test fit it while it's straight, so I'm just gonna bend it and get it to the place where it needs to be, and then we'll test fit it and see. So there won't be any returns happening here, but fuck it. So check it out. So we got it mostly bent. I did a more simple design because this measured out about 32 inches and I could either find a 30 inch or a 40 inch. Didn't want to go with the 40 inch because then I'd have to make some loops and things like that. So I went with 30 and I'm going to cut out some of that extra excitement that's happening in there and make this a little bit more simpler. So let's see if it fits. I'm going to transfer over these little brackets too. You know, give it a nice factory fit and finish. Let's give that a shot. Let's see what that does. That wasn't so bad. I guess I could put the drum back on now and uh, try and bleed it. I'm just one guy, but I think on these, you just turn the key on. I think it auto bleeds, but only the back. I might need a buddy, but let's give it a shot. <laughs> Well, it's bled. Made a little bit of a mess because I totally forget how to do these. You just gotta like key on and hold the pedal and it just pumps itself, but it's everywhere. The good thing is that it's not leaking. So I think we're fixed. It's just gonna top off the fluid. We're gonna put the tire on, take it for a spin and see what happens, I guess. Maybe I'll die. Maybe I'll live. I don't know. Either way. Uh, well, if I die, then this isn't gonna make it onto YouTube. If I die, somebody please edit this and post it as my last video post death.
road test time. Pedal feels good, maybe a little spongy. I gotta do a proper full bleed on this thing. The fluid looks disgusting anyway. Next time Matt comes over, we'll do it. All right, let's see if I die. It stops. So far so good, but here comes a stop sign. Yeah, it stops. Maybe a little spongy. It could use a it could use a full bleed anyway. Oh, that exhaust sounds so good. So I had fun trying to fix some stuff with you guys. Usually we're modifying, we're replacing things that don't need to be replaced. But today, that line definitely needed to be replaced. So thanks for coming along on this little adventure with me. I thought it was a wheel cylinder. Yeah, brakes feel pretty good. We definitely want to bleed it though. But brakes feel good. At least they were. So yeah. Kind of a lame video for this Taco Tuesday, I'll admit. But it can't be worse than the minute and 10 second livery video that I hit you guys with two weeks ago. So, take what you can get, bitches. I'm still doing this for free. Which is why you should subscribe. And if you did subscribe, I could make money off these videos, which would in turn let me make more videos for you to watch while you're pooping. So hit the button. <laughs> I'll see you guys next, next Taco Tuesday.